Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the topic of today's newsletter is Statistical Process Control. Um, what the hell is it? What am I going to use it for? Uh, so, let's have a look. Statistical Process Control. Folks, if you didn't know, all of your processes are big random number generators. When you look at a graph, typically the process just wanders randomly across the graph this kind of random chaotic pattern. It's a random number generator. And of course one of the problems with a random number generator is you don't know what's coming next. So how do we tell what's happening? How do I understand whether my process is in good health or not? Because that's a great way to look at statistical process control. It's telling you about the health of your process. So let's have a look at a random number generator that we understand and let's have a look at how SPC would operate with it. And it's this random number generator, it's one of my favourites, uh, it's the six-sided dice. Um, and of course, when I roll the dice, I don't know exactly what's coming next, just like any random number generator. But what do I know about this dice? Well, there are some f a few key things that I really know about this process that you can understand about any process. The first thing is, I understand the average of my process. So the average on a dice, 3.5. I would also call that the signal coming out of that process. I can also understand the range of the process, the noise in the process. So the range on a dice, course is 1 to 6, that's the range, and I would also call that the noise. So I can understand the signal, I can understand the noise, i just put it on this graph, the signal is running through the middle, the noise, that's the signal, there's the noise, this is the spread. So on my dice, I've got an average 3.5, I've got a range of 1 to 6, and finally, I understand the distribution. I understand the way the numbers are going to come at me. So if I roll a dice a thousand times, what am I going to get? Well, I'm going to get this uniform distribution. There's an equal chance of getting ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. So I understand the shape or the distribution. So now I know those three things, I can check their health of my process. Because if I picked up this process, switched it on today, and went seven, what would you immediately think? Well, you would know something's wrong. You wouldn't know what's wrong at this case, in this case, whether I'm lying, whether I've changed the dice, and I've actually got a 10-sided dice in my hand instead. But you would definitely know something isn't right. This isn't what this process does. It isn't what this random number generator does. If I pick the dice up and I did this, two, 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 two. Mm. That's not what this random number generator does, is it? Something's wrong. The health of my process is wrong. And that is statistical process control. And that's all it is. It simply looks at the basic way the machine works. Information that's coming from the process, by the way. These are not specifications. There is no specification on that chart. But when I rolled a seven, I immediately knew something was wrong. So we are just taking the health of the process and then asking day after day, are you still healthy? Are you still healthy? Are you still healthy? And that's what statistical process control is. And what you must avoid at all costs when you're doing this is using specifications to do this. Because look, what would happen if we use a spec? Let's say that I have a customer that tells me I don't want ones and sixes. Don't send them to me. They are defects. So I put the spec on my diagram now in order to try and control my process. I start running my process and I roll a 6. Now when an operator gets a defect, what's his natural, his natural reaction? 
He wants to adjust this defect away, doesn't he? He wants to correct for it. So what he'll now do, he'll move this process in this direction, let's say by one. Because I can now get zeros out this side. And he carries on running the process, and he gets a zero out here. Now what does he do? Well, he shoves it back this way, doesn't he? Probably by two. And suddenly now we can get sevens out over this side. Now before I switched my process on, I was going to get a two in six defect rate, ones and sixes. Because I've allowed the operator to use the specs to judge the process, he's now creating double the defects essentially. He's now creating four in eight. That is what your, your operators will do if you don't give them statistical process control. They will typically make the process worse. Uh, and therefore, we don't put specifications on this chart. If we'd have taken the specs away and we'd have just rolled one to six, the operator would have been perfectly happy that the machine was fine. He never would have made the adjustments and he never would have made the defect rate worse. They say that 90% of the time, your operators make the defect rate worse. Statistical process control makes your operators put their hands in their pockets, drink tea and read the paper because that's the best thing they can do as far as process control is concerned. Only statistical process control can do that for you though. Drink tea and read the paper. Use SPC. Subscribe or drop me an email and I hope to hear from you soon.